This video demonstrates the automatic calculation of distance reach settings using the Protection Coordination Assistant. Study Case 07 Protection should be activated. This transmission network has a system voltage of 400 kV and every line is protected by two distance protection devices. To see the relay locations, open the diagram coloring command and choose the option Secondary Equipment, Relays, Fuses, Current and Voltage Transformers. In order to execute the Coordination Assistant, the protection devices for which the reach settings should be determined must already be modelled. The devices have been configured with the zone reach settings calculated according to the cumulative method. The Coordination Assistant tool is found in the Protection and Arc Flash Analysis toolbox. First, we can choose the area where the settings are to be calculated. For this example, we've chosen the Northeast Zone. On the Distance Protection page, voltage-dependent fault resistances for phase earth settings can be specified and a factor defines the resistance variable for phase-to-phase -phase settings. The option to aggregate parallel lines is selected. In these tabs, the equations for four zones can be specified using flexible equations to define how the reach settings are to be calculated. Predefined variables and basic mathematical operations can be used. All the quantities used are defined in the user manual. Equations for Zone 1 are straightforward, using 85% of the shortest line to determine the settings. In addition, the fault resistance variable is added to the resistive reach. In the equations for Zone 2, the operator max is used to allow for a more complex expression. Different equations for parallel lines in Zone 1 are not considered in this example. Equations are also set up for Zone 3. Time delays are determined for Zone and Backup timers. The Coordination Assistant has the possibility to grade the timers depending on overcurrent protection devices. In this case, no grading is selected. After executing the command, a tabular report detailing the calculated settings is shown. In the first three columns, the device, stages and directions of the relay are shown, followed by the reach and timer settings. You can see that the time settings follow the rules set in the command. The zone settings are calculated for three main zones and an overreach zone. The report has different filter options and the possibility to mark in graphic the elements chosen to determine the reach settings. Let's filter according to substations and polygonal characteristic. And mark in graphic the elements that are considered for the zone 2 reactants of the first relay. As you can see, the Zone 2 settings were determined using the first line and the shortest of the adjacent lines. To evaluate the calculated settings graphically, we can create a time-distance diagram of a defined path. In this example, there's already a simple path defined, which you can see by changing the diagram colouring to Groupings – Paths. The path includes four devices for which we calculated the reach settings. We can use this icon to access the Protection Coordination Results command and select the option to create a time distance plot. The path is already selected.
We now execute the command. The time distance diagram shows the coordination result. Every line is protected by zone 1 to 85% of its length and the second and third zones are selective. By double-clicking on a zone, you see the results belonging to the associated relay. Of course, once network effects such as infeeds are taken into account, the actual reach of the relay could look different. Let's calculate a three-phase short circuit along this path. We double-click on the diagram and change the method to short circuit sweep. The short circuit command is already configured, so we can simply execute the short circuit sweep and then run the protection coordination again. The diagram changes due to the additional effects taken into account by the short circuit calculation. The reaches of zone 2 and 3 decrease due to an intermediate infeed and all the starter times are now shown. If the zone reaches calculated by the coordination assistant are satisfactory, the user can use the report to write the results automatically into the protection devices. It's possible to transfer the settings to all devices, to individual devices, or to individual zones. Transferring the settings will overwrite the existing settings, so it's recommended to have an active variation to record the changes so that the changes can be reversed if needed. Let's finish by transferring these settings to all devices.